Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how you can test your Commerce Tools API on Visual Studio Code using Postman collection and also your project uh, client information. Let's see how it's done currently on Postman collection. I'm on my Postman collection, uh, Postman, and I have my Commerce Tools Postman collection. I already imported uh, using this uh, link and the GitHub repository. And uh, regarding the environment, I've already got my environment uh, using my creating the API client on um, Merchant Center developer settings. And you can also choose a Postman option and you can download it. Okay, so let's see first it in Postman and I'm gonna set my option. And then I'm gonna do, before I make a call, I'm just gonna authorize, I'm gonna get the access token first before I make a call. And I get my access token. Let me move this aside. And then I'm gonna make a call, uh, which is get project settings. So I will get my project settings. So this is my project settings. And this is what currently, what you see it on Postman. But now I'm gonna demonstrate the same thing on your on the Visual Studio Code. So I've already imported my Postman collection and I already got my uh, client uh, information uh, in my Merchant Center, so already created for it. So here you see here, this is a Thunder client. This is the, I can show you, it's a Thunder client plugin. I'm using the Thunder client plugin to run the REST API client uh, on VS uh, code. And uh, using that, um, I'm able to, using Thunder Client, uh, um, I'm gonna call the Commerce Tools API. So let's see that in action. So here you see here Thunder Client icon. So I'm gonna click on that. I've already imported my Commerce Tools my filter options, and you can also see, you can import it here. We can import a new collection here. And I've already imported my environment uh, variables uh, settings for my Commerce Tools project here. And let's see that in action. So I'm gonna open this Optine access token. And uh, let me call this access token. You see here, I'm gonna get access token. And on the test tab, you see here, I'm storing this access token on the CDP access token. And this saves my access token so that I can use it in the next request, the same access token. And let's see that our next action, which is I'm gonna use the same get product se uh, project settings. And here, um, I'm gonna run it again. And you see here, my results are here. I'm getting, I'm able to get and the status is 200. And I'm gonna use my bearer token, which is the CDP access token, which I stored in the first request, uh, obtaining access token. So I'm reusing this environment variable. And you see here, I'm doing some tests running, tests are running here. So I'm also checking if uh, this key is equal to this. So just for demonstration, I can also put some other value and see, I can see that the first test fails and the second test passes, that's a response code is 200. And if I turn back again, and it should, both of them should pass. So that way um, you can run your Postman collection on the Visual Studio code itself. Uh, hope it's useful, thank you.